will use the piano to put just two seconds that I can put on display some of this stuff. These are the inventions of tomorrow, yet, you know. Okay. Voilà, so here we go, we are ready for my three minutes talk. So I think you will all agree if I tell you that science and technology affect the way we live our daily life every day. I mean, and if we want to play the world for good, we have to bet on our children. I mean, our children are our future. In my opinion, there are, they are our future inventors. They are the motors of our progressive society. If you look at them, if you just take a little bit of time to observe them, you will realize that they find motivation and great pleasure in learning by building stuff. They are always busy in crafting, cutting paper, uh, playing with glue. They build, they create with whatever material they find at hand. And we have, it is an imperative that we tell them, that we show them that science is fun. Technology is useful and it is fun. We have to engage them in ingenious scientific activities from early age. I think that children are very creative. They have a great imagination. They score a genius level if it comes to divergent thinking. So why don't we trigger their curiosity? Why don't we emotionally enthrall them with technological activities? I mean, I believe that nobody is ever too young to do science. So a few months ago, I founded a club called Ingenio. This is a club for children. I started it with my children. And if you are wondering what we do in our club, so you should imagine a nice Saturday afternoon, quiet in the early afternoon, from two to four, two to five, depending on the week. And what do we do is the following. In these sessions that we call CreaBot sessions, the children build robots. So for, let's say, 10, 15 minutes, I'm there with the children, and I act. It's really acting like a very serious teacher. And then and I show them what the possibilities are of 3D printing, laser cutting, basic electronics. And then in the remaining time, they show me what it will become. It's amazing. Looking at them, they keep elaborating on this little logic you pass through them, you gave them, and they create beautiful robots. Look at this. This is our flying pea. This is our pencil piano. You can play it later. And this is our spider rabbit. So this was made by a four-year-old girl. Four-year. She was just, she had just experienced that you could provoke forward motion by vibration. And she kept working and asking and really to produce this. And it works. It's a working robot. So let this be my message to all teachers and to everybody who is in, involved with education. You have the choice to act less in your class and to trust the children's ability to teach themselves. So change your attitude, invest in their attitude, and you will be surprised and have a lot of fun by working. Thank you very much for your attention.